everybody long time no see I'm so sorry um if you want to know what's been going on with me I will put a link to a vlog right here letting you guys know what's kind of been up in the personal life of Rachel I'm excited to talk to you about this video today so what I have made for you is this and I know what you're thinking the title is magic brownies no not those kind of brownies these are actually um, brownies made from black beans. I know what you're thinking, like, it's, it's got to be gross, right? Well, you know, they really aren't that bad. They make this uh, really dense, just very chocolatey, brownie-looking thing. If you would like to learn how to make this, then keep on watching. First things first, you want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all of our ingredients and we're just gonna pour them straight in the food processor. We're starting off with a 15.5 ounce can of just regular black beans that I've rinsed and drained. Next, we'll take two eggs, and to cut down a little on calories, I'm also gonna use the equivalent of an egg, um, about a quarter cup of liquid eggs. You could substitute all of it for this, but I think it helps hold it together a little bit if you go ahead and use regular eggs as well. Next, I'm taking a little, uh, about a half a cup of Splenda for baking. And once again, you can use real sugar, but uh, this really cuts down the calories if you use the Splenda for baking. I'm gonna take a quarter of a cup of cocoa powder, unsweetened. And next I'm going to add in three tablespoons of vegetable oil. There's one, two, and three. Little dash of light salt. Finally, we're going to do a half teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Once you've got all the ingredients in the food processor, you're going to take the lid, put it right on top, and you're going to blend until everything is very smooth, about 30 seconds to a minute. Alright, and this is what your finished product should look like. Alright, make sure you grease your pan. Here I have a 7 by 11 but the recipe calls for an 8 by 8 so just use what you have and use your best judgment. Make sure to spray it real good with some Pam or grease it with some butter. And we're going to take our batter that we just mixed up and we're just going to pour it right inside the dish. Like so. And I'm using a rubber spatula just to make sure that I really get every little bit out of there. Scraping, scraping, scraping. Have to get all of the bean brownie goodness. <laughs> Alright, and once you think that you've got everything that you can get out of the, the processor bowl, just go ahead and set it down and take the back of your rubber spatula and just kind of smooth everything out. You want to make sure that it's as even as possible just so that when it cooks, it's going to cook evenly. Alright, this looks good. We're ready to go. And take your bean brownies that you've prepared and we're going to go ahead and put these on the middle rack in the oven. Shut the door. Hello! And set your timer for about 20 minutes. So I have the finished product here, and what I did with it once I got done was I cut it into um, 12 pieces. If you use an 8x8, um, you may not have to cut it in as many pieces, but I cut it into 12 pieces, and I topped it with a little ball of, this is just light Cool Whip, and I put some sugar-free caramel on top. So 
We're going to taste it and see how it is. I'm going to get a little bit of everything in each bite. And so see how it's, it's like very dense and we'll see. It's actually really good. It definitely tastes chocolatey. It doesn't taste like beans. Um, not the typical like brownie texture like you would think of, but you know, for what it is, it's pretty good. So, you know, if you guys are interested in um, having something sweet, but maybe not having it be as bad for you, try some black bean brownies. Your sweet tooth will thank you. See you guys later.